Alrighty, hello. So today we will be doing budget Sarah Doman. Also, YouTube decided to bury my last video. So if you want to go watch that, it was just a clue scroll video. So it's a bunch of fun. So go watch that if you haven't seen it already. So I ran a poll on YouTube and Twitter and you guys said you wanted to see Budget Corp. But then I realized Budget Corp is really boring. Let me just give you a quick rundown of how that would go. Yeah. So you give him a good whopping with the Dragon Warhammer a couple times, or three times to be exact. Then you smack him 20 times with the Arclight. Then you smack him with a BGS for about 200 damage. And then his stats turn into potato and therefore Corp himself is a potato. And then you poke him until he gives you the most rewarding drops. Now you can go home proud and tell your wife that you are now the King Potato Slayer. I don't even know what that was. Wow, well, would you look at that? I'm already geared up. This video is going to be efficient. So in these budget bossing videos, we have three budgets. And with each budget, we spend an hour at a boss with said budget. And see how many kills we can get. And that way you can see how effective each setup is. Now clearly, we're starting with a 500k setup. And uh, look, I've already bought the gear. But first, this video was brought to you again by Boostroid.com. This is the second of four videos that Boostroid are sponsoring with me. Now, what is Boosteroid? Boosteroid is an online service that lets you play the most high tier new games without owning a powerful computer. They do this by running the games that you want to play on their powerful servers and streaming the footage of the game back to your computer. So as long as your computer can watch a YouTube video, you can play a game through Boosteroid. So even if you have an ancient PC, you could still be playing whatever the new game is on the highest settings. Right now, there are over 50 free games and 150 paid games on Boostroid and right now the best package you can have is for a whole year of Boostroid it only cost 49 euros so rather than spending a couple grand on a really powerful computer you spend 50 on a uh, on a booster road subscription along with this when you want to play a game you don't need to download or install anything just two clicks and you're playing a game it's as simple as that so if you're interested on boosteroid.com head on over to their website by typing it in or clicking the link in my description and sign up today so let me just uh, price check this real quick so that we can uh so the gear cost us 212k and 5k from the average assembler I'm gonna go ahead and just dump 218k in there because we've effectively spent that on the gear so now we have 282k left to spend on supplies the aim of the game is basically get your best range gear and uh, you sort of run around the arena this video was so planned because I went and did a test trip before I started recording just so that I was slightly practiced and that I wouldn't suck doing it for real also for every setup in this video leave a comment and let me know what you would have geared up with because I, I like reading comments and I like knowing what you guys think. Since Sarah Bowman is in God Wars Dungeon, we will be using the ecumenical keys. Uh, 10 rules will be fine, probably. I'm gonna buy two house tabs here, but uh, with Night Zone points, you can change them into Trollheim tabs. All right, and then we just splash the rest of the cash on restores, it looks like. So to try and represent the lower levels, what I'm gonna do is just not bring a range potion. I'm gonna sell back some bones to peaches tabs so I can buy another restore. Alrighty, well, we have two free inventory spaces which is kind of a yikes. Um, so if you had an extra 20k, you should definitely spend it on uh, two extra restores. Oh, you know, um, since I've got the inventory space free, holy wrench, heck yeah. And if I wanted to go really far, I could bring a Falador shield, but I understand that most of you don't have the elite uh, Falador diary, so I won't do that. We've got the Explorer's Ring for Alks, which is quite nice, and uh, I think we're all geared and ready to go. We're not getting kill count since we've got the ecumenical key. I think that's about everything. My goodness, this is a simple looking setup. There, there it is, alrighty. Um, are we ready to go? This was a fast setup because I already had this budget like actually planned out and I thought I would have spare cash so that I could buy some more god dehyde for prayer bonus. Uh, obviously we have the Sarah Dome embraces so we don't get destroyed when we enter Gorbals Dungeon. Otherwise, kabam! Start the stopwatch. So if you've got low defense, you want to prey range as soon as you get down here. Because there might be some aviancies waiting to pounce on you, but I was lucky that time. Or some werewolves. That might happen too. No, my Varrox helm degraded. Alrighty, well, assuming the boss room is clean, we're about to head on in. And uh, since we're on a budget... Oh, no, there's someone here. That's a shame. Since we're on a budget, we won't, we won't be using a rigor. We're going to be using Eagle Eye. Uh, so I'll explain the boss mechanics right as we find a world and go in. Listen to this music. Isn't it just so beautiful? All right, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, I'm not gonna pre-pot defense because I don't want to waste a restore. Either way, if you had a ranged pot, this would be the time to use it. The first kill will be the roughest one, but they'll all be pretty rough. Just gonna wait for Ziliana to get the heck away from the door. Alrighty, and we're heading in. So you can slap your crossbow on accurate, run halfway across the wall, shoot her, uh, mess up because you're bad and then shoot her again now like I said because I'm bad I'm gonna be putting my crossbow on rapid just because that means you have more leniency if you mess up you don't have to be tick perfect this way because as you can see over time now I'm just getting much I'm getting lots and lots of, dis of distance on Ziliana so you'll notice 
Right now, the only thing damaging me is this stupid thing. Three right there. If you are good at this, you could flick these two minions since they're the only two things hitting you if you keep your distance between Zilliana and Starlight, the melee minion. But that is if you are good at the game. But actually, they're both attacking me on the same tick. But after the first kill, they'll attack on different ticks so that you can flick between pre mage and range. Zilliana, you're getting a little, a little too close for comfort there. <laughs> I got a bolt spec as I was like brewed down. Oh, another one. So my stamina's about to run out. It should be like one dose per kill. Love this, Vidsma. TY. Oh, she mage specs me. We're fine. So then you've got time to kill now. Adamant plate body. So now you have time to kill, so you can just pray flick the boys if you'd like. So if you see, I've got them all on different ticks now, so I can pray flick them all. Look at that. So good at the game. And then what you want to do, pro strat. Don't kill Bree, but get Bree to low health. That's what you want to do. We'll see what I do right as a Saradim spawns. Oh, I'll just tell you. As soon as Saradim spawns, we're just going to kill Bree. That way, while we're not prey flicking, uh, Bree will be dead for like 30, 40 seconds to save us some damage. All right, we'll, we'll leave him about there. That's fine. Get a diamond spec on Bree and it doesn't kill him. So hit him again, get hit by Starlight, and we all good. Give me a Sarada. Three Monkfish, that is a beefy drop. I will take that gladly. Now I believe that stays on the floor for like a hot second, so we should be okay to leave it there. We do have bones to peaches if you need some emergency food, or like just basically as soon as you start downing some brews. And uh, if you don't have a melee weapon or a blowpipe to kill the minions, it's pretty hard to kill them all so that you can pray at the altar. I'm pretty sure you have to be out of combat to use the altar. This is kind of fun. I've not actually, I've not done this in so long. Oh man, that's what I get for not drinking the stamina bone. Dose at the start of the kill. Get swiped three times. No, the monkfish disappeared. I'm so upset. Mmm, the ran our weeds. Good. Uh, say good night to your own cat, Sapphire. Good night, ma'am, for the fourth time. Law runes. Oh, the stamina's gone. Oh, goodness. This is uh, terrible news. Yep, nope. I'm not even going to risk it. Goodbye. Okay, so we lasted all of our staminas, but unfortunately, uh, I mean, we, we ran out of just like food and staminas. Um, all right, so let's keep the timer running and let's sell some loot. Now, things of God Wars Dungeon Bosses, they don't really drop anything unless you get a, a unique, so I, I don't know, we'll be fine. I was about to say, I was like, I was wondering, I wasn't sure whether we would actually have the cash to resupply, but you know what? I think we're fine. We have plenty of bolts. We only use, we use like less than 100. Um, yeah, that's all we can really do. We'll probably buy one more brew. See, now we're probably gonna run out of restores first, um, but at least we have lots of brews. Like, we could sell two brews for one extra restore. Use the spare cash to buy some more house tabs, turn them into Trollheim tabs like before. Uh, grab another ecumenical key. So we used up half the time on the timer, which is actually pretty perfect. Hey, look, a partially killed Saradom and let's just hop right back in. We heard you're at half eight. Wait, what? Oh man, does she reset HP if like everyone leaves the room? This first kill was just atrocious. Diamond. Oh, prayer potions. Now that is kind of tasty. What does it mean when you get like hot flushes? Like a hot flush is like when I think typically girls get it. Maybe I'm a girl. Who knows? Like when I've got, I've got this like pulsating feeling of warmth going through my body and it's like I'm sweaty, but I'm not sweaty. Sweaty. Am I ill? Do I have the coronies? Hey, I didn't say it. Don't demonetize me, thanks. Well, let's kill her before the stamina dose runs out. Oh, stamina dose is gone. Ziliana is nearly gone. The second I drink my stamina pot to get the last hit, that's where my character says, you know what? I'll hit the ca I'll hit Ziliana just for this dude right here. Wow, run our weed. Thanks. Monkfish. Ah, more monkfish. And she squeals and is she dead. More ran our weed. So much food, so much everything this kill. So the hour is up. And as you can see, if you weren't doing this kind of challenge, you could stay for another like, I don't know, eight minutes. Cause I have a full stamina potion still. But hey, that last inf ratio was about on point. Maybe one extra brew would have helped. But the restores and staminas were on point. Four staminas, I think eight restores. But then I also got a prayer pot drop. And the final kill of the 500k budget. Give me like the pet or something or run our seeds, that's fine. I'm not gonna bother killing the minions because I am bad. Take me home. Alrighty, one hour and 50 seconds. Okay, let's go see how much we made, but more importantly, how many kills we got. Okay, so we did get 13 kills, which gives us, it took us a 4.6 minutes, or uh, no, four and a half minutes per kill-ish. I just like to say the kills an hour um, so that we can compare them to the other methods. We're just gonna sell this loot real quick. So we profited, if you add the Varex Helm cost, I mean the Varex Helm um, value, uh, this overall price check comes to 524k. So we profited 24k from not even getting a uh, unique. So that was uh, that's fun, which is surprising, and it's quite nice to see because so what that means is you can come here. You don't need like five million supplies to then see a return on your investment because you'll break even from like all the seeds and the ranars and the coins and the rune kite shields and all that. So that's actually interesting. I didn't think you would be able to do that. Let me know what you would have uh, used for a 500k setup because it's pretty. I'm pretty sure rune crossbow set. 
the best way to go. I will mention that the crystal bow is an option, but it's less DPS than a rune crossbow with diamond bolts enchanted, but it's definitely an option. But I also will mention that crystal bow with crystal armor is better than a rune crossbow with diamond bolts enchanted. I made a whole nother video on purely on the crystal bow, like a bunch of them, I think. Uh, so you can go back to the channel to find the, uh, the crystal bow videos. But next is going to be a five mil setup. So let's, uh, Let's go and whip out 5 mil real quick. Actually, I'm just going to whip out uh, 4995k because uh, the average assembler will cost 5k and we're going to be using it. So we have 4 mil to spend. Don't mind me screaming in the clan chat. It's definitely not the next day. Hey, speaking of which, join my clan chat. These people are uh, quite fun. I set this sofa guy. If, if you come into the clan chat, make sure you talk to sofa and call him call him a sheep, please. Anyway, I might need to do a bank. Oh, I don't. So, since Saradome, it's very limited on what you can do. It's basically ranger run around. So you're looking for the best damage per GP and the best damage per GP. Like your first upgrade should be a dragon crossbow. Not for the minuscule range bonus over a rune crossbow here let me show you what it is wait there it is rune crossbow so like a rune crossbow has plus 90 that has plus 94 i did not just pay uh, like three mil or whatever for four extra range bonus no -uh, that's not what we're doing <laughs> that was disgusting uh what we're doing because runite crossbow let's have, a, let's have a look crossbows runite crossbow bolts up to runite with a dragon crossbow bolts up to dragon and of course if you have the cash buy an armador crossbow obviously um but since the budget is five mil that's what we're stuck with so we're going to be getting those dragon diamond bolts or the diamond dragon Bolts, sorry, diamonds, dragon. There they are. So last time, how many bolts did we use? I think we used like a hundred per trip, or something like that. I don't know. We'll buy two hundred. Oh, I forgot. I'll go check the recording. Um, and then uh, what's the cheapest dragon hide they got here? So god D hide is good because it gives prayer bonus. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's the same as black D hide. Oh my goodness, that's expensive, expensive D hide. So it looks like it. As long as it's not armadillo. Okay, we're still rocking the Varax helm. Got some good defense and some prayer bonus. Look, that's some hefty defense. Um, I'm just thinking, is it worth maybe bringing a shield? I don't know. After the dragon diamond bow upgrade, the one of the best upgrades is like anguish. Just things that give you um extra range damage. Those are all good. Got an idea. How much is this? Oh my goodness. Here, here. Yes. So granite ring. Look at this. Look at that. Some free range bonus. And if we want to be fancy. Look at this. So since we didn't really use the Explorer's Ring like at all last trip, we're gonna go ahead and, oops, we're gonna buy that Granite Ring, which is a really cheap ring. It was like 30 or 40k or something. And we're gonna go imbue it at Nightmare Zone. Obviously you don't, you don't have to imbue it. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna get it anyway. Getting all of their rings and imbuing them is a good, a good thing to do. Let's see here. Benefits, upgrades, 500k points. That only takes like 20 minutes to get or less than that probably. So now this Granite Ring turns very hefty. Yeah, plus 16 range bonus. I mean, sorry, defense bonus, which is really Pretty hefty for a ring, my goodness, that is really good. So, uh, we've got some good defense upgrades. Back to the Grand Exchange. Bought some of these braces to keep Saradome off me. Um, I think for the minions, it's slightly... So last trip, I was struggling to kill Bree in time before, uh, before Saradome spawned back. Uh, D bringing a D-Simi switch, even without potions or, like, melee gear, um, it's still, like, what, like, 50% better DPS against a minion than crossbowing it. So we're gonna bring a D-Simi. Nice glory. My goodness, we're looking like a beast. I'm just thinking of the shield now. We have some hefty prebers now. That's quite nice. Huh. How much is this? Uh, this is 5 mil. Twisted Buckler would be okay, but it is 5 mil. So not doing that. 300k? Hmm. We're literally just paying for slightly more range bonus. Hmm. Worth it. And boots are like 1 mil, so there's no way I can afford any boots. Granite boots are 900k. Hey, I got range boots in my last video. Damn it. They're 38 mil. I guess we're going with the trusty snakeskin boots again, because all the rest are super expensive and really bad value. Oh my goodness. I'm a beast. So I don't know how the stats compare to last time but we have slightly better range bonus better better defense better prayer better range damage all looking good and we have a dcme to help kill the minions the bones to peaches tabs i think the inventory is gonna look about the same except this time around since you have more money what i try to imitate is that you're higher level so this time around i'm gonna bring a couple of range potions so the first setup is more so if you're like level 80 range since if you potted you'd get to like 90 95 range oh, look at electix thank you now i I'm, i should Admit, uh, you can bring like a granite shield. You'll take a big hit to your range offense, and it's really heavy. So that's why I'm opting out to like not bring it. But it's it's a, you can do it if you want. Hopefully this trip I won't chug through these staminas as fast since the kill should be slightly faster. So it should be it should be a straight um one dose per kill rather than like one and a half sometimes. Two health tabs to turn into trollheim tabs. Two scrolls of redirection. So the reason you turn them both into trollheim tabs is it just takes up one less inventory space rather than bringing. 
a troll home tab and a house tab. You know what I'm saying? Just bring two troll home tabs, then revert one of them back. Well, I can't die. I've only got two more keys. How many spaces we've got left? We've got um eight spaces. That's eight brews. Look at that. We've actually filled up the inventory. That is a lot less food than last time. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to ditch one restore so I can buy an extra brew. Because with that, that's a whole lot less brews. That's like three less brews than last time. All right. So how much money do we have left? 171, 208. Let me slap that down. Okie dokie. Are we good to go? I think so. My goodness, that look amazing. And again, uh, I'll be using Piety when I use a Decimi, but we won't be using a Rigger. We'll be using Eagle Eye and Steel Skin. Um, otherwise, yep, yeah, uh, good to go. Oh, yeah, we lost some space because of the ranging potions, but worth it. Off we go. My immersion. This music just ups my immersion by 50 bajillion. Mr. Werewolf, please. Oh, someone's in there. Gosh darn, Mr. Boat Dog. Oh, I need you. Don't forget to revert your Trollheim tab. There we go. That guy was in the Justicia Helm. He's on the next level. Ah, look at this noob. Oh, so yeah, that's like the next upgrade after what I have. You bring a blow... Oh, that's a Twisted Bird. Never mind. You bring a blowpipe to kill their minions rather than their decimi. Also, I'm going to steal that tactic. He seems to have stood on the northeast and then Sarah spawns up there, so... You have more time to react or something. Okay, are we good to go? Oh, wait, where's... Oh, I didn't start my stopwatch. Oh, I'm the worst. Okay, I started it. Uh, we'll finish this time exactly on one hour to make up for the fact I didn't start it before. Are we good to go? I think so. Sarah Dome, could you get away from the door, please? I would like to brew up. I'll get hurt, and I don't want to do that. Like, for the extra defense. Worth it. Waste a restore dose. And in we go. Wee! The dragon crossbow is not doing me good. Oh, dude, I did it. Oh, I didn't do it. I was trying to flick in there. It's it's pretty hard. Because you're attacking Sarah and basically watching for Growler's animation. As soon as it finishes, you switch to prey range. Oh, a hefty 35 with the dragon diamonds. <laughs> I expect a zero. I'm so sad. The nice rune kite shield. Mm. Good night. Third kill. Slay it. Another rune kite shield. Tasty. Grimy weeds. This trip, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. I, I lasted like 24 minutes or something on my first trip with the garbage gear. I'm like, strategically using the rune kite shield for extra defense when I can't bother to flick. Good night. Adam plate body. Gosh darn, the, the loot took so long to appear, I thought maybe I got something better. Are you rocking it? Addy plate body, my goodness. This is a rare instance where I can prayer flick all of them. Wow. Give the good stuff. All the rune plates go. That will do. Peaches are coming in. Might be the last kill. So it looks like that was the last last kill because I've actually ran out of restores, which is good because once you've run out of restores, you just can't, you can't do any more kills, my dude. The boast of peaches really aren't coming into use. It's like, I get like 50 extra heals after I've chomped all my brews. I think next time, three staminas, maybe an extra restore, and that'll be good after I slay these minions or they slay me. So we did have 171k left. So let's go pull that coin money out of the bank since we can do another trip and resupply. Stick that in there, alrighty. Oh, I'm wearing a rune kite shield. We need that. Sell it. Withdraw the cash we had left over, 171, 208. Alrighty, so we need two stamina potions, and I'll drink that one dose right before we leave. Drink the stamina, bought two Trollheim tabs, and we're off again. In we go. Mr. Timon, I do- Oh my goodness, I'm lagging. Oh my- That's fine, the world lagged. Mr. Timon, I do not have time. I am killing Saradomen to answer your silly gym questions, you big gym nerd. Tooth half. I prefer help, but I'll take it. Monkfish, and I missed the prey range switch, and summer pie, heck yeah. Become one with the ground and kiss it or something. Peel, give help or I cry. Oh, boy, is it a leak clue? Would you look at that? My my clue luck is turning around. Sleep, my child, and give us the hilt of Sarah Doom. And hey, that's a good drop. Restores and brews, heck yeah. Wish I got that on like the first trip. Oh, she slapped me right before she died. And she only gave me 19k coins for it. Grimy ran our weed. You know what? Uh, ignoring this lag, I'm gonna do another kill. We can still got like two minutes left. And eh, mm, mm. by the time she respawns, I'll only have like one minute left, so I might go a little bit over. So we went a smidge over, just a smidge. But for an extra kill, so it's worth it. More super restores and brews. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. All right, since we've gone over, we're just gonna teleport out immediately. Hand me the grand exchange music. So, ended on 522 kills, which means we got 15 kills. That's two, two kills. So, 15 kills. That's two more kills over the last method. So, just adding that a little bit more damage uh, made the difference, it seems. So, bear in mind, the most important thing in these videos are the kills you get in the hour. But I always like to show the loot and the amount of profit we made just for funsies. Also, got an elite clue, which is quite nifty. Uh, is that all the loot I got? Let me pull out the cash that I had left from last. 239... 266 is what I put back in the bank last trip. And then I'll repair the Varax Helm and um, price check the gear too. Now, I can't sell back the Granite Ring. We can check how much I uh, I bought it. We'll look at that. 33.5k. So after all of that, the amount of money we have left is less than what we started with. We started with 5 mil and we have 4.9 mil plus 30k for the Granite Ring, which I can't price check. So we lost 
50k in that hour, but obviously, so that's pretty close to breaking even until you get a drop, and then the drop is like almost all pure profit. So that's pretty solid. But now, so as you can see from the first and second uh, methods, the method doesn't really change. It's just like the more gear you get, I mean, sorry, the more cash you have, you just buy upgraded gear. You get some damage and some uh, some defense bonus. For the last setup, I'm just gonna go all out and show you the best setup you can do. Wow, let's, let's go do that. We Would you look at that? Twisted bow acquired. Thank you. So I guess this is kind of like a, uh, sort of a, a loot from maxed uh, kind of mix into the uh, budget video because since there's not really many more upgrades I can show is well you'd basically upgrade with your crossbow up until you get to something like this minus the twisted bow. Hey look climb waster at one. Do you want some money? Oh my goodness I could like to Gimlung's heck yeah. So yeah this is the uh, maxed variant where you're so you're just in max accuracy and a twisted bow and I've got a blowpipe with dragon darts and I'm just going to gear up. I guess you might want to know how much this all costs. So a uh, 1.3 bill the ring is another 4 mil and then the blowpipe is like 4 mil, it's just over 1.3 bill in gear. Not, not too shabby, you know, you can earn that for a couple of hours of Zora. So this is the uh, the setup. But yeah, so this is basically max gear, so I thought that'd be, this would be kind of fun to do. So whoop, whoop, I'm gonna be using rigor, and uh, otherwise the method is still the same. <laughs> They just twist the bow is the best. What's that? Nice like 73. Is that the max? I don't know. But yeah, this, this thing like straight will knock like a quarter of her HP off in one shot. She only has 255 HP or something. Like the exact same pattern as the crossbow. Ooh, what is that? A 48. So you're gonna last for the same amount of time due to the prayer restrictions, but your kills are like twice as fast. <laughs> 54 to finish everything. And then you can blow pipe everything. Oh look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, yo, it for the second kill. And three prayer points because everything is dead. Oh, uh, what? I can't pray there? And the blowpipe means you can just spec back some of that HP, except I spec zero every time. <laughs> My goodness, this boat absolutely wrecks. I didn't have to drink a stamina pot for that kill. Rune plate skirt. Dude, because I'm killing the minions, I'm just getting so many food drops that, like, these bones to peaches won't even come into use. Maybe they will. <laughs> Dude, the most annoying minion to ever exist is Starlight. So annoying. As soon as, eh, at the start of the kill, she gets two hits on you, and then when you, when Sarah's dead and you start killing minions, she just smacks you for like 15s constantly. It's so annoying. I swear it's worth bringing a rune pouch for like entangled barrage just to keep Starlight in place. Look at this dude, we're, we're I thought three staminas would be enough, but dude, I, I'm gonna have to cut this trip short because I ran out of stamina. We still have restores and everything. Probably could have last 40, 45 minutes. Or even if I brought less brews and more restores. Because the only reason I choked through all of my brew is just to make room so that I could pick up bones to make peaches. That was the most ferocious kill I've ever witnessed. I, uh, I didn't even, I think I finished like one or two laps and she just fell to the ground. So we'll do another trip, but for future reference, bring like four or five staminas and less brews. Quick, dump the loot. Dude, look at the size of these peaches on the floor. That is, my goodness, I have no, that's a big peach. I, had to, I paused, paused the timer because I had to get kill count because I'm bad and didn't go get another ecumenical key. Wait, Sarado in please, don't hurt me. <laughs> Dude, that kill, I didn't even have to do a whole lap. I legit didn't even do one lap, so I shot like six shots or something and she died. What a meme. So, you know what, we're at 59 minutes. I think we'll call it there. 546 was the last KC, and the setup before that was 13 kills. So this, with the twist bow, you get a solid, like, nearly double the kills um, and it's a whole lot easier because trips last longer because you use less stamina, use less prayer because everything dies faster and you get a blowpipe so you can regen HP off of that which is quite nice. As for profit there's not a lot to say because well I mean I guess I can uh I got dragon boots from getting the kill count easy money but yeah I got nothing so the loot is gonna be about the same probably made like 500k in loot minus the dragon boots because I got some loot in the first trip so loot isn't what matters though it's all about that kill count. So yeah 40 uh, sorry 24 kills with the twisted bow 15 with the five mil setup and 13 with the 500k setup. So as you can see, your kills now doesn't really change all too much. I thought there would be a bigger difference between the dragon crossbow and the rune crossbow because of the bolts, but it actually wasn't that much of a big difference. So the biggest difference will be getting a blowpipe to kill the minions faster so that you're losing using less prayer, because that, that way your trips will last longer, therefore more kills now. And after that, it's just upgrading your gear for damage, like Anguish, Pegasians, Archers, Armadil. Uh, and this, this setup actually had less range bonus in the first two. I mean, sorry, less range defense in the first two. But because everything died faster, you ended up not taking more damage. Uh, so yeah, basically, you upgrade everything, starting with the crossbow and the bolts, and then the Anguish and stuff that gives you damage as an assembler. And then once you land a solid, like, 20 hilts, you buy yourself a twisted bow. <laughs> 
<laughs> How much is Saradome and Hilt? Yeah, never mind. You'd need like 40 Saradome and Hilt to get yourself a Twisted Bow. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> now, so I guess for the uh, the finisher of the video, I'd say if you want to learn some solo bossing with like some advanced tactics, so in with Saradome's case, it's kiting where you're just running around the room avoiding getting hit. You could even train yourself doing some prayer flicking against the minions. Then this is fine. It's a very safe method because you probably you like you won't lose money. You'll break even, and then when you get a drop. Uh, you profit from that drop, uh, which is solid. As for the actual GP an hour, so props to the uh, old school wiki, because that's where I'm getting these numbers from. But if you're getting 13 kills an hour, you can probably expect between like 1.5 and 2 mil profit per hour over the long run. So once you start getting drops and everything. And then with the twisted bow, 24 kills an hour, the wiki says 3.6 mil an hour. But I don't know, those numbers are a bit shaky, so take it with a pinch of salt, you know what I'm saying? So I'd say anywhere between like 2 and 4 mil, depends on your luck. So yeah, this was fun to do. Like I said before, Corp was the first one that got voted for, but it was very easy, so I said, uh, so I was like, you know what, I'll just put that at the start of the video, and then include, and then, and then put Saradome in. Leave a comment, let me know what you want to see next, uh, what boss you want me to do, or a different video entirely. Go watch my Road to Bloodhound video, which was my last video. Otherwise, I think that's about it, so thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.